Mike Gutierrez, with what sounds like an interesting story. Yeah, lots of interesting stories have come out of this, and this is another one case in point. It is draft week in the NFL, so how about profiling someone who went through that and is now serving as a principal at Osseo High School? Seems appropriate right now, doesn't it? So we caught up to Mike Lehan. Mike Lehan remembers it well. His senior season at the University of Minnesota led to NFL interest. And uncertainty around where you're going to go. I took visits to New England, the Browns, uh, you know, and so I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll go to one of those teams. On draft day, it took some time to get to the Dolphins in the fifth round. I remember towards the end of the first day, my name started coming on the ticker as far as best available. So I'm like, my goodness, maybe I'll be a third round draft pick. Uh, so that kind of got my hopes up. Third round came and went. Fourth round came and went, and then uh, fifth round, that's when I ended up getting picked. He played for Miami and Cleveland, then retired for a more impactful goal, which takes us here to Osseo High School, where he is the principal in his fifth year, applying football to school leadership. That notion, that notion of analyzing your current situation and having a really good uh, understanding of what um, what you needed to do to be successful. And a new challenge this spring, Distant learning for his high school, trying to make sure every student has a chance and trying to motivate his students along the way. My community uh, at Oxford Senior High, the, the, the scholars, the staff they've been, uh, and the families have been absolutely wonderful. What he misses is what you cannot replicate right now, the day-to-day -day interaction, live and in person, to read body language and to connect. Uh, there's nothing, as you alluded to, there's nothing like interaction, just being able to walk up and have a conversation, check in, give them a high five, give them a hug, and send them on their way. And as we approach draft night, he's reminded that he's now in that same game, creating a roster of new teachers. Think about what teachers uh, and the virtuosities, what they're going to bring to your, your building and overall the organization. And uh, with that, it's like, it's, I call it my draft every single year. Every time I get new teachers and it's like, this is my draft class.